So let's talk about procrastination, because I know, especially when I think back on my college days, uh, I was really good at this. Um, so procrastination, how, how do we get it under control? Well, procrastination, its root cause is often associated with the fact that when you even just think about something you don't like or don't want to do, it causes an area of the brain, the insular cortex, to activate. And that area is also affiliated with, like, when we don't feel so good. So it's like you get this icky feeling. So what does your brain do? It skitters away from that that thought that caused the icky feeling. And voila, you're on Facebook or you're texting your friends. and, And you've just procrastinated, but you're completely unaware at that moment. You're just kind of more interested in getting the pain to go away. So I really do believe that the Pomodoro technique is is one of the best ways to deal with procrastination in that. And this is a very simple technique that was invented by Francesco Cidillo in the early 1980s. And you just, uh, you put away all distractions, including cell phones and pop-ups on the computer, set a timer for 25 minutes, work as productively as you can for those 25 minutes and realize that your mind will go, well, you know, I've got to look this up and and just write down stuff. So you keep Mm -hmm. your focus and don't go off doing other things. And then most important of all, when you're done with that 25 minutes, relax, take five minutes and just do nothing. And what that what that does is that little bit of relaxation can help your your hippocampus which is part of the memory system to offload some of this new information so if if for example you work really hard for 25 minutes and then you relax you can almost you know you're probably imagining it but you can almost feel that your brain is like shifting things around and putting it away But if instead you go answer a bunch of emails or you start texting your friends, you're focusing again. You're actually doing some work and you're not allowing that hippocampus to offload. So that's why it's important to really just like, I mean, you can walk around, a little physical movement is a good thing, but don't do anything that's mental at all. Like a cup of tea, make a cup of tea, that's fine but don't do anything mental, and that will help you absorb that information you've just learned. 